the sale of assets in a liquidation scenario brings huge dollar losses. It's a question of where will you obtain the most value? So generally speaking, if you can restructure a company into a going concern, you will achieve far greater value than in a liquidation. The sale of assets in a liquidation scenario brings huge dollar losses on the assets. Accounts receivable, instead of being collected 80 or 90% on the dollar, may get collected 50 or 60% on the dollar. Uh, inventory that may be worth a uh, million dollars in a going concern may get sold for, if you're lucky, 60 cents on the dollar. And if it happens to be specialized inventory, even less than that. So the sale of assets in a liquidation bring very, very disappointing results. It also depends on the sector. So it, there, are, there are companies like in consumer goods, if you sell milk, for example, I, I've been working for Parmalat, uh, one of the largest bankruptcy. If you sell milk, and if you don't sell milk every day, you lose your business, and I can buy milk from anybody else. And your business disappears literally in one week. Therefore, either you keep it as a going concern, or the value liquidation scenario in that case is gonna be very, very small. Another completely different business will be real estate. If I have a real estate, it's not gonna melt down overnight. I still have the real estate. It's an asset that I can recover. So in that case, maybe the liquidation scenario uh, could make sense. So it also depends on the sector.